Hey, this is Dan Nickerson with another Socrates tutorial. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to optimize the Socrates theme for page speed scores. So increase your, uh, improve your website speed, increase your ranking, and that kind of stuff. So this will work on pretty much any theme, but once again, this is primarily focused on the Socrates theme, but you obviously you can pick up the code and the tips and use it on your own theme if you're not a Socrates customer. So on the Socrates customer portal, I have this page um, called page speed scores and optimization and I'll show how to get page speed scores, the GT metric scores of 99 and 95, a pingdom performance grade of 100, and a page speed insight score of 9190 uh, using two plugins and some simple code to add to your HT access file and uh, your functions file. And so I'm gonna start out of the box. This is a, a fresh install of Socrates. I've got no activated plugins right now. You can only reload the page. There's no active, no active plugins. This is the uh, the site. I'll reload the page here. I'm on this page. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to GT Metrics, and I'm going to click on Paste, and I'll hit Analyze. And this is going to run. I'm going to pause the video while this runs to save some time. Okay, I'm back. So you can see out of the box, uh, Socrates has a 90. Page speed score of 97, a wide so score of 80. Uh, full load time is eight seconds. Total page size is 149K, 10 requests. Okay, that's out of the box, fresh install. Uh, nothing enabled, nothing enabled, disabled. Um, and that's what you get. Now, one thing I should mention is the most important thing for page speed score is your web host. So if you don't have a good web host, then it's gonna affect your page speed score. So it's worth, if you're paying like a dollar a month or three dollars a month for a web host, you've got to pay more. If you're, if you're really concerned about PageSpeed Score, get a better web host. Uh, I, my recommended web host is at bestseohosting.com. That's a redirect to you know my recommended web host, which is SiteGround at the moment. And SiteGround actually has their own uh, performance plugin that I'm not going to show you today, but uh, I do highly recommend SiteGround for PageSpeed and for SEO hosting. So uh, bestseohosting.com. All right, so that's the GT Metro score. Let's go to Pingdom. And I'll paste in my link again. I'm going to start the test. Once again, this is out of the box. Nothing, no active plugins, nothing installed special on the script, on the theme. So you see it has a performance grade of 87, a load time of 619 milliseconds. It's faster than 95% of the tested sites. Uh, and it gives you performance insights and so forth down here, right? So there's nothing there. Uh, then Google PageSpeed Insights, this is for mobile visibility. I'm going to analyze that here. And it'll tell you needs work, desktop is at 90, 100, which is good. Uh, some of these things are, once again, these are recommendations by Google. It's not necessarily that your site's being penalized. They just recommend that you could improve this. If you have a good web host, you shouldn't have to worry about this anyhow too much, but it could use some improvement. So I'm going to go back to the Socrates plugins. I'm going to install two activate two plugins. Once again, this is free. I'm going to activate that plugin, and then I'm going to activate Auto Optimize plugin. You notice I don't have a caching plugin enabled. Uh, Auto Optimize will do some basic caching and compression and so forth, but I don't have caching enabled at the moment. I'm going to go into Settings and Async JavaScript, and I'll click on Settings here. And you can see I have enable async JavaScript. It's all just async, async, and async enable optim auto optimize support. So those those settings are saved. On auto optimize, you can go in here. There's there's advanced settings and basic settings. So this is the basic view. Uh, optimize HTML code, optimize JavaScript code, optimize CSS code. I've got no CDN options at the moment. Advanced settings. I have the uh, check this option to aggregate JavaScript in the HTML, and I have uh, check the option for to also aggregate CSS in the HTML, and I'll click on save there. And now I'm going to go back to GT Metrics. And one thing I like about GT Metrics is that you can compare, not retest, but compare, and you'll be able to see a side by side analysis of your first test and your second test and your third test and your fourth test. Let me pause the video again to save some time here. Okay, and we're back. So now you can see after activating those two plugins, I actually have a score of 100, page speed score and 92 Y slow grade. So improvement of three and improvement of 12. Uh, the page speed was slightly different. Once again, that just could be my server just reacting slightly differently uh, from, one, from load, one load to the next load. You can see that the uh, improvements in these four positions here 
let's go back to Pingdom. And once again, remember this was an 87 grade. I'm going to start the test again. Give that a few seconds. Now that's loaded. So now it's at a 94, faster than 96% of all sites. You can see that that improved, that improved, that improved. And now I'm going to go back to PageSpeed Insights and I'm going to analyze that again. Now you can see we're at 91 and 96. So 91 and 96 just from installing those two free plugins. So this for the most point is where a lot of people would stop. This is really good. Um, can you do any better? Yeah, we can do a little bit better. So on this page speed score, I show a couple of other things you can do. Uh, so if you have a typical Apache uh, server, which most of you probably do, uh, there's code you can add to your HT access file. You can do this either via file manager, FTP, or if you're using a Yoast SEO plugin, believe it or not, they actually have a, a way you can modify your HT access directly in Yoast. But what I'm going to do for the sake of this video is just go in here. I'm going to copy this code. Now I've already got my HT access loaded up into my uh, Notepad++ um, uh, editor. By the way, I love Notepad++. It's probably my most used piece of software. I've already connected it to my FTP, so I'm just going to save that. And then the next thing I have is back on this page, I have some code to add into my functions file. Now what this does is it removes the query strings from static sources, it's just an additional function. And there's also a thing you can replace jQuery with um, Google's jQuery. Now if you're using the Socrates masonry template, you don't want to do this because it's going to break it. I would say that most people aren't going to be using the masonry template, but just be aware that when you do replace jQuery, sometimes things will break. So this is only if you're really a speed freak and you just want to have perfect scores. There are some people that get very ADD about, about page speed scores. You don't have to do this. It's just going to give you a little additional grade, makes it a little bit more perfect if you're into making your site as optimized as, as humanly possible. Doesn't mean it's going to be that much faster. It just gives it a better score. Okay. So I'm copying that and I'm going to put that into my functions file at the very bottom. Uh, if you're using Socrates, this is you'd want to do it in a child theme or you want to do it in a custom functions plugin. Once again, this is an advanced trick. I may add this functionality to our Socrates Toolkit plugin before too long as well. So I'm just going to save that. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go back to GT Metrics again. And I'm going to add another URL to test. And I have to go back and copy this because I changed the thing. I'll paste it here. I'll click on Go. And I'll pause while we wait for this one again. Okay, and I'm back. So now you can see after those changes, I'm at um, PHP score of 100, YSO score of 97. Uh, I've dropped the time, I've dropped the size of the site significantly. And uh, you can see all these greens are really good. I'll go here to Pingdom. Remember the last score we had was 94, 555, faster than 96% of the sites. I'll click on Start Test. And here we go. Now I have a performance grade of 100. Load time of 494, faster than 97% of all tested sites. Page size of 90.5, requests of 5. Uh, and if I go to Page Speed Insights, this probably is not going to change, but it's still good and good. 91, 97. So that is a quick eight minute overview of how you can dramatically improve the page speed, all the scores of your site. I'm not even using a compression plugin. Uh, so once again, most of page speed is determined by your web host. So I have a good web host. It's SiteGround. It's, you can get uh, through my link at bestseohosting.com. Uh, I also have links on the Socrates site in the sidebar of the customer area. Actually, I actually have it on this page speed score as well. I'll expand this tutorial and add the video here as well. Uh, you can tell like, I've already beaten some of these scores. I've got to, I've got to change this uh, code here. The one other thing I'm going to mention is that on this particular test, I use the default fonts uh, for Socrates. So these are just basic web safe fonts. If you wanted to use Google fonts, so you go in here and if, you, if you're not using the Google fonts, then what happens is it doesn't load the Google font code. So if I go back here and change this to Lotto and change this to Roboto and save and publish, I'm going to show you one more thing here. Because I'm going to add one more URL right here. 
because I'm using the Google fonts, it's one more thing to load, so it drops the page speed score like two things. But if you're a, like I said, if you're a speed freak, then you wouldn't want to use Google fonts anyhow, so that's why I showed those scores. But here we go, generating the report, and now I'm at 196. So by adding the Google fonts back, I just discrete decrease the Y slow score by 1%. So it's not, not a huge deal here. But you can see that the load time is up, by the uh, file size is slightly increased. Okay, so that is the overview of Socrates speed testing, how to quickly improve your speed test score. But as you can see out of the box, we're, we're pretty, uh, pretty speed friendly. And uh, you can just easily improve it with some simple changes to your site. And that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful.